Hello and welcome back to another episode of Landlighters League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of the game. Got some interesting news. Over the last uh, week a DLC, free DLC has been released and a new agent by the name of Isaac has been introduced. The Progital Sun. Uh, Isaac Graymore is an offensive gunner and bruiser who single-handedly wields a light machine gun. Sounds a little bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando, if you ask me, uh, the good old one-handed LMG agent. And that is right up my alleyway, so I wonder if we want to go to Australia instead of uh, doing this mission here in order to get the cartomancer. Difficult to say really. Another agent though would help us a lot because we could get a team of three agents together instead of always two manning it. So I think I'll go for another agent. And we again are trying uh, to do a two-man mission with Eddie here. Uh, who has bandages and a cocktail and we got um, that bomb uh, which I think did remove armor and bandages on Ingrid who is going to be our um, protagonist uh, throughout uh, this frag grenade yeah 55 damage and shreds armor okay I remember it correctly good with that being said uh, let's directly jump into the mission all right, let's go. The prodigal sun. Oh, that looks like an interesting environment. Has been a while since I played the game because I played a lot of XCOM lately. Um, we are potentially going to see some mess ups from my end. Moving in, and we're hiding here. Just taking this guy out because we know that we can always get our stealth actions back with uh, second wind. So I'm going to be very liberal with using the. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Going to be very liberal with using them. Ingrid might be able to take out two of them. Oh wow, okay. Okay, needed to upgrade uh, the sound a little bit. Unnatural flames, that doesn't sound very pleasant. I know there was another pack of enemies patrolling this area. Uh, I think the guy's over there. If we could get more than two into a single knock, that would be absolutely insane. There's the pack we were talking about. Out of the way. Easy delete. Within the books, uh, in hasty packed piles, silvery jewelry, three generations worth, a glinch from the crevice between them, atop all of children wooden toy horses. Interesting, okay. So the mummies are immune to takedown. Uh, that's a bit of a, a challenge because we can't easily get uh, them down. This is, seems to be like a full new area. The Desert Plateau? No, we don't want to go there yet. And I don't want to be spotted out by this guy either. So we're staying here. Eddie is helping a little bit. Wow, there's a mummy. Okay, we got a frag grenade, but we can't really use that one yet. Hey, 
Eddie can open doors, though. Uh, that's second wind, and that's a moat. Moat of fate, good. More supplies. Got bandages, got that. This is refreshing our ultimates, so we gotta be careful. More bandages, okay, cool. Great extra store. Damn it. Well, it must have happened at some point. Uh, so, if we're moving... Wow, that's pretty far. Moves to here, and we're just going to evade for now. Eddie, on the other hand, has a problem because these guys are melee, right? What does this do? Burning. Could throw a fire grenade. Hmm. Or, we're moving over here. Do we have a disabling shot or something? Light them up, uh, it's just marking them, dual shot is potentially the best we can do. I'm just getting warmed up. Yeah, Eddie will take damage. You're gonna pay for that. Yep. 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 Good. Eddie heals himself. Move out. Not bad for field medicine. And we're taking bandages. I wonder who should get the second wind. I like his ability for single takeout. Um, maybe we're uh, going to use our ultimate soon. So, the second win also refreshes ultimates, and of course, if you could have everything refreshed at once, that would be fantastic, right? Nah, eh, just barely not. Okay. If another person moves in, we can just double charge them. I know uh, the mummy is not knockdownable, so that'll be a bit of a challenge, but I think it still deals damage. Alright, come on, mummy. I don't have all day. Oh, the mummy blocks it, I see. Okay, well, we got one. Which is, I suppose, as good as it gets. Mummy is level 10. Not great. Automatically ignites. And... We don't need barrage. I just think we need to continue hitting on the mummy. And not in that kind of uh, friendly sexual way. Uh, deals damage, ignores armor. Uh, that would not be too bad. But the mummies are uh, giving us a bit of a problem as well. How about... How about we do a stick and move? Keep your eye off the prize. 
It's now blinded. We get a free move, right? Bonus move to here. Cool. And then push kick. Shoving this guy right in there. Knocking him down. Fantastic. Enemies are burning as they are walking through the mummy's terrain. Mummy's blind, which is good. Good, light him up, right? One, two, three. And... Four. Sure. Oh, come on. Let's try this again. Mummy. This guy. At target, yep. At target. No, come on, no. This... The interface is incredibly unintuitive. I don't want to sound too complainy, but that was not cool. These guys are anyways burning. I think what we can do is move away further from the mummy. Yeah, that was un very unfortunate. Could kill her, which isn't too bad. I think we're just going to use the normal strike. Um, this wouldn't be bad either, because we deal extra damage since the targets are marked. That would actually be really, really good damage. Okay. Stick and move. Nah. Let's do a normal strike first. Forty five, very good. If I do another one. That would regain actions, so we're doing stick and move. Kills him regains uh, actions and we're hot on pursuit uh, which then in return allows us to go for cover and that wouldn't be too bad of a damage the question is do we want to kill this one or do we want to make sure that she is dead i think we're making sure she's dead Oh, we even got Killer Instinct for that. Fantastic. Enough. More fire damage. Eddie moves up. And uh, finishes. Then continues to move uh, back. And... Really just heals himself. Tries to shoot and tries to shoot. You can't stop. Her ranged abilities aren't that great. Why did we... I killed her? <clears throat> Anyone who touches me comes to regret All right. One second, my little one is crying in the background. 
Okay, so taking care of the little one and we're back in action. One thing that I certainly need to learn is how to deal with those mummies and execute them properly. Because boy, that's not working well. Five percent hit chance, full cover ranged in smoke. Okay, good, not good. Uh, let's push kick. That uh, knocks her down. Fantastic. And we are hitting. Moving to here. Uh, can we take out fire? No. Well, we could remove fire from her. This guy is just going to come back. always getting the risen status but we did not have a chance this time in order to even hit and kill uh, kill it because it didn't overload apparently you can only kill them when they are quote-unquote overloading when their st stress bar is too high Good, now, how do we select target? No, 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 there was an option to actually kill them. How so? The game, like I said, the game is a bit un, uh, non-intuitive. Um, let's try this and that. Okay, you need to hit them one more time when they are almost dead. Okay, understood. Okay, I'm the first one to admit that this could be, could have been a cleaner fight. But please appreciate that um, the whole fight wasn't as clear as it could have been. So feedback to the game developers, that whole mummy thing, generally not bad, but I think uh, the whole, uh, the whole setup requires a bit better description because at least for me and maybe I'm the only one who has not fully understood it the way that it looks like is you want to uh, you want to get them to a certain hit point threshold and then once uh, they are there then uh, you can finish uh, them but then there is also that uh, stress mechanic which once they reach too much stress you can quote unquote um, one shot them but you're not really one shotting them right so instead you're uh you're uh, just putting them into that uh, state where they uh, where they are killable i would ca call it overload state or whatever um, whatever the correct description is so a one shot for me is is really not uh, putting someone into an overload state but actually killing them so some of uh, the mechanics really didn't uh, work out that well two fabulous hits followed by moving over here and then I think it's push kick time. Let's part ways. Enemy doesn't get a turn. And we're just going to hammer home the message. Line him up and knock him down. 
Follow me. Okay, enough criticism about how the game should maybe describe things a little bit clearer. There is another uh, second wind area. I think Eddie ca uh, could use a bit of second wind. Don't wander. Uh oh. Three is good enough. Okay, cool or not cool. We immediately have been put into a position that is difficult. Um, Eddie. What are you doing? I haven't even clicked there. Oh my lord. Alright, Eddie is just going to hide for now. Hitting a stick and move. That will blind this guy. We're getting some absolute monster movement out of that. And I think we're evading. So a little defense turn for starters. Interesting. I thought that enemies didn't know where you are hiding, but apparently I was uh, very wrong. Like so often. Okay, and we got even bigger problems coming in. Okay, before we're moving, uh, this here is a fantastic start. See, now you don't me off. Good hits all around. Ignited, hit, and so on and so forth. And the one and only Eddie is uh, moving back. Um, how about... We got two uh, two onslaughts. The mummy should be controllable with that. You picked the wrong fight. Very good. Got some killer instinct. And push kick should take her out. You stay away from me. Even kill her. Which I don't know if these guys have one or two attacks. I think we're just going to play it safe for now. Because there are more incoming here. Mummy gets back up. Really hate that mummy. Double shot. And I think we're just continuing to get this guy down. Minus 50 hit point. Good job. Mm. 
moves up. Uh, how do we go about that? Really don't want to go into the fire. What we could do is the following stick and move for a kill. You can keep up. That allows us to then move uh, further back. And here we could evade. That means shot misses, mummy or mummy misses. We might take one shot. Now nah, this guy can't even see us. Okay, cool. Mummy of course moves in. Blade storm into evasion and we good. New people come in, not so good. All right, air target. Come on, it is. Don't be annoyed about it, Saiken. Uh, the game is just trying to test your patience. I just added uh, the target, and of course, it didn't work. Okay, Eddie resorts to signal, um, single shot fighting, which is completely ridiculous, if you ask me. We're moving up. Luckily, there is a kill. Okay. Moves to here. Pushes this guy in. Uh, cooldowns, fantastic. And it's a bit of a waste, but what can you do? This guy is overwatching. Enemies are getting back up, and it's a we're in a tough spot. One hit, which is good. Um, how far can we move? Yeah, we can move there, but we cannot move further. So, what I want is stick and move. You took your eye off the prize. Melee enemy down. We are moving up to here. And crowd control this guy. I am tired of your face. Eddie is out of ammo. Can't do that much. Hate to say it, but Eddie might be better off fully repositioning. Move to here, burn this guy. Fortunately, he has no crowd control, and that makes it tough. And the mummy isn't particularly great in helping out uh, with her continuous follow on us. Betty Stacy takes damage. It's a bit of a doomed if he does doomed if he doesn't situation no one can find me. ok 
Okay. Apparently the mummy really hates Eddie. Does that interrupt? I think it does. Okay, cool. All right, Eddie needs to reload. Reloading. A good shot and a not so good shot. Okay, happens to the best. That'll refresh our actions, Killer Instinct. How far down is he? 38. Okay, if we hit him once, we should be generally fine. He will ignite very soon. Uh, I need to stay close to this guy. So how about we're just moving to here. All right, it had to happen at some point. That and that target. But at least I now do understand how to take these guys down. The mummies, that is. That's bullshit. Okay, we're down a lot of uh, healing items, so that's not going to go very well. And burning is a nasty, nasty effect. a couple of interruptions later we are finally back and it looks like we got a new uh, hero that's going to join us got some more bandages over here which we're leisurely applying we need the bandages there we go howdy you the one locks in us to grab? You don't know who I am. Well, just step aside then. The big gun will take it from here. I like the idea of having a big gun. He does have the slam ability, just like Ingrid. Uh, signature ability unleashes a hailstorm of bullets in a cone uh, that deals AoE damage. And shreds armor. High heat means more bullets fired. Okay. Mm -hmm. Movement. Uh, base shoot LMG. Generates heat at max heat. LMG may cause to be overheated. Can overwatch. And vent. Releases hot air from firing the LMG. 
Removes all heat um, and overheat venting uh, a cloud of smoke. Okay, that's a cool ability. So he seems to be like a person that would deal a lot of uh, damage. So, that apparently seems to be nothing. We need more bandages. He does not have any on him. And the fact that we're still requiring more bandages sort of tells me that we did a really poor job in that last fight. Well, well, well. Sure there's a lot of firepower around here. Why'd they want you dead so bad? Nothing I ever do could match the crime of being my father's son. Believe me, I've tried. Picking up a frag grenade. I think there was a little bit of loot around here, so let's um, capture that before we're continuing. Okay. So. This way... Nothing over here. I think we had a few items. Okay, cool. Firebomb. Eddie can use a second firebomb, I suppose. I would love to know if Isaac can climb, because that's the only thing that we're missing at the moment. Another frag grenade. Can use that. Can Isaac climb? No, Isaac didn't strike me as the climbing uh, type. Because there are a couple of bandages up there. Unfortunately, you need to climb in order to uh, grab them. One last check over here. No, we already took all of that. Well, the next fight needs to be a bit better, Saiken. Because so far, things weren't exactly playing out in your favor. On a positive note, though, um, That's we are having three characters now, so that really should help us. Is he going over here? Yeah. There we go. That's one down. Eddie moves up here. And oh God, that's a tough, tough situation. Okay, this here could work if we're playing it right. Hopefully these guys are coming. Only one of them is. Other one. Yeah, they split up. I could not get out of uh, there fast enough. Oh, it's unfortunate. Good, Eddie. What are we going to do? I think... That is not too bad. But it's a water barrel, so that won't do us any good. The explosion barrel, on the other hand, that could do us a solid. Moves up. 
takes the most disturbingly complex way to get there. One. And uh, two. Might as well do light them up, because why not? One. Two. Three. Four. Good. She's knocked down, which is good. This guy is marked, which is also not bad. And he is completely disturbed at the moment. I wonder... Three hits for ten. Not bad. Might as well just kill. <laughs> Did you see that? We're building up some serious heat. Good. This guy... is now dazzled and uh, also blinded. Should have used the push kick first and then the dazzling. This is far enough away to not get hit. Bam. Knocked down. We're standing in the open. He is blind though. 50% chance to miss. Mummy doesn't reach us. Oh, come on. Really? She hit the range? Good, so that's one down. Stick and move. Uh, I think we're just hitting and killing this guy normally. Into killer instinct. And then it's a stick and move. Blind. And we are moving quite far away. Just like there. Cool. Uh, yeah, I read that in the description. The higher his heat, the lower his movement potential. So I think we're venting. Which is free action apparently. We're moving to here, which is good. I like that. And Spitfire hits everyone. Well, that's not bad either. Okay, don't have an, a great option, so might as well just Overwatch. Got one and one ammo back. And instead of shooting once, let's just reload. Mummies are quite strong, stupidly strong. More enemies coming in, okay. We 
Yeah, we don't want to use the fire. Although putting it here is nice is a nice touch for those who are coming in. I want to test this. Hellstorm of bullets. Uh, that causes damage and shreds armor. armor. Oh yeah. That's a good ability. Apparently triple miss. Forty percent, not great. What we could do though is move up here, high ground. And get that guy in cover. And continue to kill him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Elevated plus one AP. Wait, wait, what, what? We got an AP back? For elevation. I'm not here to play games. Good, no reanimation. Look at you. Indeed, more guards on the way. 40%. That's not great. But luckily for us, we do have a frag grenade. That's some solid damage right there. And we sure can put up an overwatch in case it's needed. I wonder why that is 55%. He still gets full cover, although I'm uh, literally above him. Am I the only one thinking that this is a little bit, you know? Arbitraire? Good hit. All in the wrist. You really want to impress me? Do that again. Uh, I think we're just push kicking him. Down, boy. That means he's controlled. And for you. We're doing stick and move, which means you need to move into us, and that will trigger attacks of opportunity thanks to Bladestorm. There you go, Bladestorm. Oh, and Overwatch. Nice and toasty she is. One hit, and I think we're almost done here. That's the kill, killer instinct, mechanical uh, cooldowns, redu uh, cooldown reduction. She has a super solid build, but to be fair, we put all of our uh, eggs into one basket, which is her. I'll take this. Take the stolen artifact. And unfortunately for us, no more loot. We got a firebomb, but so far they haven't been perfectly working out for us. I mean, fire is nice, but the enemy can still act, right? So it's not a long war type of fire. Where you would crowd control them. 
On the other hand, given that we only had two agents, this actually was an okay mission. The one frag grenade uh, level what two, that worked out very well for us. Okay, fantastic. Come on, the job's not truly done until you unlock my face to face. Excellent. I can't wait to see how old Uncle Pelham is holding up. Recruit Isaac and recover a stolen artifact. So, and we got eight skill points plus Isaac and two ether, which is a very valuable resource. That allows us to upgrade further. And I like the um, the cards that we have gotten. So the Fallen is good, the Rogue is good as well. This one I'm not 100% sure um, about because I'm continuously taking uh, damage because I forget about it. Agents attacks have a 10% chance of inflicting days, that on the other hand is good. Uh, target teammate takes 30% less damage for two rounds, that's not bad. And this agent has 7 armor and minus 1 speed. So the one person that already has a low speed is our good friend and giving him more armor, good. Let's give him the shield maiden as well, because why not? Gives him a little buff. Strum got reduced to almost nothing. Interesting. We'll have to move fast. We were successful with our side hustles. What did you find out there? A little bit extra supplies and so on. And now, unfortunately, the court gets uh, their activity. Threat levels are rising. A rash of mysterious drowning swept the, the globe, plaguing communities from Brighton to Buenos Aires. Uh, swimmers and bathers of all description vanished, dragged into their death under seemingly placid seas. Many of the bodies simply disappear. Wow, that thing looks incredibly unpleasant. So Nicastro apparently got more threat. Wake up, agents. It's all right. It was just a dream. At least for now. Sounds like a real nasty one. What did you all see? I saw hunger. A sort of hunger that's never sated. The more it takes, the more it wants. I saw a great flood, even more terrible than Noé's. And in the waves, a monster beyond describing. Nick Castro. She raised the seas, drowned every last one of us. And that ain't even the half of it. I saw the devouring king. Its big, toothy mouth. I could feel its hunger. It wants everything. I saw a kraken in an endless ocean. Nicastro was there. She made it happen. You all saw a vision of the future should Zorana and Nicastro seize the tower. Unless we stop her, those who drown in her flood will be the lucky ones. Well, there's some good news. I've never been much of a swimmer. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Before we're continuing here, let me just... I think the audio is a little bit tight. Uh, ambience, good sound effects, voices... I think that's okay. Alright. New agent recruited. We got plenty of skill points. Uh, we could heal if needed. Definitely got a new agent. So, here we go. 
he does have the LMG. The LMG definitely hits like a truck. Uh, multiple times, accurate at mid-range, but builds up heat. Okay, fair enough. Then his skills. He could... Uh, a powerful single shot. Shreds armor, shoves target back, produces knockdown. That's super good. For one point, mm, likely going to take that. Uh, I said it's 15% uh, chance when he's wet. Opens fire on the target area, flushing struck enemies out of cover. Higher heat means more damage. Well, that's not bad either. Releasing the hot air. Uh, venting while overheated uh, creates cloud of smoke and restores some hit points. That's also not bad. What else can he get? What's well, overheated all offensive LMG abilities, 30% 30, uh, 30 chance uh, to restore an AP. That's good. Signature ability creates more damage. Uh, more heat. I like that knockdown thing. Anything that lets you control enemies is absolutely fantastic. So I think I like him a bit more than Eddie, simply due to his higher DPS and uh, the ability to knock down. He's not completely an Eddie knockoff, but um, yeah, they are they fill very similar roles, I should say. So we can't upgrade her weapon here. I think we wanted a few other uh, things. Extra speed, very rare to come by. Uh, we might take that instead of the knockdown ability. So that is good. Stick and move, uh, blinded, and can cause knockdown on a crit. That actually would be really good as well. And here, uh, an extra uh, Overwatch ability. And crit reduces cooldown. So all of that is good. I think we're just going to go with agility for now. And I would consider... Uh, I, we need to find out when we can get the this brain here, this serenity. But apparently at the moment, that's a no-no. Looking good out there, champ. Good, we have plenty of uh, resources. What is it you seek? We'll, we'll go with uh, these guys in a second. For now. We have a couple of frag grenades. Might... Uh, put the, this back. Okay, the game does not expect you to put anything back, apparently. Take a frag grenade instead. We have one set of bandages. We could get a few more. But currently I don't want to uh, spend our supplies for that. I would That's rather spend our supplies for permanent items, such as Accuracy Talisman uh, for better hit chance, uh, which I think you could definitely benefit from. And then we got this slot here, which is currently completely empty. Let's just leave the things as is, because supplies we might be able to use later. Weapon mod, maximum, one maximum ammo. I think I know who uh, this... Uh, I'm doing the exact opposite of what I just said. I'm buying something, but we still have supplies left over. Give him max ammo, because he needs it. And better chance to hit here. Bit of defense, and we're good. She's the only uh, one that currently does have a bracelet. So, uh, and we use that mechanical vambrance here. Melee attacks that are critical hits will shred five armor. 
Weaponsmith's consumables can be created uh, with fewer resources. Melee takes uh, have a chance to give AP, which is good. And trauma battery even more. Melee takes gain 33% chance to reduce cooldowns. This is actually a very good trinket. Um, upon using buff or debuff consumable, agent regains 1 AP. Well, that's not bad either. Reload abilities reduce cooldowns. That's not bad either. This here is a good ability uh, for Eddie because he really, really needs it. What are the options here? Unlocks medical kit, hasten flask, as well as tier 1 supplies. We're going to take that. Not even a question. Then, signature abilities heal 30 hit point to the user. That's really good. Might as well take that because oftentimes that's just a nice little passive uh, bonus. Healing abil abilities also clear debuffs. That's not bad either. Number of com consumables that an agent can equip by one. That's also not bad. So really the ether ethers are great. Um, and I think we're okay for now. So hideout uh, check. Mademoiselle, I noticed something about these. That's okay. And he talks to Isaac. You saw court soldiers materialize out of nothingness. You want to explain what that means, boss? For almost a year, my informants in Marto Industries have brought me rumors of a top secret project whose goal is to move an object or a person across the world in mere moments. They plan to achieve this by taking a shortcut through an alternate plane of existence. I've never had concrete proof of Project Crossroads' existence. Not until now. Okay, well, that is bad. Pretty bad. And we got Isaac over here. Looking all happy. By the way, uh, wait, wait, wait. Hideout. Never mind. Fate event. In a wind, uh, whipping big troops. Uh, mm, of the Oklahoma Panhandle spectators gather to watch a faith healer cure illnesses and mend wounds with their Aqua Lazari, a healing elixir that he says can even raise the dead. This concussion is worth investigating, especially as it is only a matter of time before the court catches wind of this miracle. Steal the elixir for extra healing, we don't need that. Investigate the healer, that will reduce their influence. Illustrate what healing really is. That's two extra spell points. Hmm. I like spell po uh, skill points because they are helping us in the long run. But I also like this. Hmm. hmm. Difficult choice. This year... Not so much, but either of those are fine. I don't know how much minus one is. Is it just one tick here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. But then again, it's three overall, right? Or two skill points. Two skill points is a third of a mission, or fourth. Uh, this here is as much as an entire mission sometimes does, so let's take that. We learn something once they are at a certain threshold, you can no longer bounce them back. Okay, would have been cool game if you were to describe that beforehand, because then I wouldn't have bothered. Now half drones uh, are spawning, and yeah, we don't, we really don't want anything else to happen here. So um, 
We're going to do a couple of placements, but that happens in the next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, Lamplighter's Leak. If you did, leave a comment and a like down below, because you know that that always helps out the videos. And thanks a lot, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.